welcome to Walking Brick. Today's video, I'm going to be ascending a craft to orbit Draz. And also landing on an asteroid. Because, yeah, I just wanted to do it, and we're not going to be uh, doing any mining there. It's just. Uh, it's just, I've never done this before in the Google Space Program, and I wanted to do it. As you can see here, I'm launching our craft into orbit. Fairly standard launch vehicle, just 5 meter diameter core, 52.5 meter diameter solid rocket boosters. So I'm now just creating the maneuvers to get the draws. And so yeah. So the way the Drez asteroids work is um, once you get a flyby of Drez, an asteroid will start spawning, and you won't need a spacecraft uh, with a uh, telescope on it uh, to be uh, near Drez. They won't, the asteroids will just spawn and you can track them from the tracking station. And so I've already, I've already gone too, and I, I just randomly chose one which uh, I thought I should go to. I think that the uh, Drez asteroids. I think those are one of the main reasons to visit Drez. Because, yeah, Drez regularly has um, a continuous supply of asteroids in a uh, no inclination circular orbit. And just. The Delta V requirements around Drez aren't, uh, aren't that high. And just. Yeah, I think. I think. I just think Drez is underrated, because it, it is interesting. And also, definitely when I land on Drez, I will, I will visit the Drez Canyon. So I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, correcting our mid-course correction, and the um, whole space program was weird, and my orbit changed. I should talk more about this craft. So basically, it's it's three parts. We have our transfer stage the uh, Drez uh, Asteroid Lander, and the Return Craft. And so, uh, what we're gonna do when we get to the asteroid is, so we're gonna detach the um, Return Craft and um, Asteroid Lander as one, as one unit. We're gonna detach that from the transfer stage. The Drez, the Drez Asteroid Lander and Return Craft will then uh, land on the asteroid. Then the return craft will detach and redock with the transfer stage, and then it will go back to Kerbin. And well, yeah. I was worried about running out of Delta V on the return vehicle, so um, I I made it as light as possible, and I didn't put and I didn't put any reaction wheels on it. I mean, there's the reaction wheels in the probe core. And in the probe core of the uh, transfer stage as well. But uh, I mean, that, that's still like this. That's very little. Uh, the, the, that's very little uh, reaction wheels. Very little torque. So yeah, it takes a while to uh, rotate the uh, transfer stage when we get to that point. Okay, yeah, I'm already talking about the return of, of 
the return from Drez, and we're and that and now we're just arriving. Things like getting cool space program was weird and changed my orbit when I time warped. But we're now arriving at Drez. We are now inserting into Dres Orbit. We're just gonna make some maneuvers to correct our orbit so we can uh, encounter the asteroid. I'm just gonna say, eh, this is kind of unrelated, but there, there's really not much happening in the mission right now. Actually, no, we're about to uh, get to rendezvous with the asteroid, so. Yeah. The release of Kerbal Space Room 2 isn't that far away. I mean, this year is almost over. And then it. And then it's. it's yeah, Kerbal Space Room 2. Like, I don't know how to put this into words, but. It feels like Kerbal Space Room 2 is farther away than it actually is. I mean, we're something like less than 80 days away from release, which, um. That's exciting. Just that this it feels like it's farther away than it is. But we're doing our rendezvous, just pretty standard rendezvous. If you want to learn how to do this, um, I made a tutorial. Probably, it's probably not the best tutorial. I mean, no, there's definitely there are definitely better tutorials out there. I learned it from the uh, Kerbal Space Program Wikipedia tutorial section, which um, I might leave a link to in the description. So as yeah, this standard rendezvous killing off our relative velocity. And now just uh, pointing towards target. Now, we're in such a high orbit around Drez that every slight burn uh, greatly changes our orbit. And it's that short burn, and we've already drastically changed our inclination. And uh, we're, all, we're already at the asteroid, so I'm going to uh, detach our uh, our asteroid lander and return craft, and uh, start to uh, maneuver towards the asteroid. We've uh, armed the claw. Yeah, and we've, uh, we've landed. Well, we're not really landed, because an asteroid, an asteroid in Chrome Space Program doesn't have its own gravity, it's just a part that you can grab. So, yeah, we we more or less just stalked onto the asteroid. Yeah, I, I ran the science experiment with some... I'm, yeah, that is, those are just the experiments for a uh, high high orbit around Drez, but we can uh, return the, well, we can put the experiment data in the return vehicle, 
And this uh, started several interviewing that with the uh, transfer stage. Now I didn't put Rhea, I pulled it. Who was the yeah, transfer stage with the return vehicle on its own? It can, it can rotate fine with the small reaction wheels, but I didn't put RCS on it. But we, I was able to dock anyways. And I'm just uh, flying some maneuvers to get us back to Kerbin. And that goes fairly quickly, unlike usual. Because you know, I don't like to wait for Kerbin transfer windows. I kind, I kind of just, I just try to get a return when, whenever I'm done with the mission at the play, at the other planet. But so now I'm just going to perform the uh, Perez escape burn, which I know I could have lowered my orbit and done the burn of Periastis to make it more efficient. But we have, we again, we have excessive Delta V. And so, uh, and so now we're escaping Drez, and I'm, I'm correcting our orbit. So, uh, so I, I actually uh, did a game restart um, after we uh, after we left Drez, and uh, well, that reset her control point. So, yeah, we were burning the wrong direction. So, and because of how long it takes to rotate the craft, um, I just uh, redid the maneuver. Well, so with how far away we, like, so a higher orbit is slower, and we are so far away. Like we're in such a high orbit. It's just the slight like on the map screen, moving the maneuver by a slight by a slightest amount uh, down in orbit me means you have to time warp for days to get to it. Also, I may, maybe I should do something about my uh, low carbon orbit. There's like there's just tons of stuff. Like orbiting Kerbin in my save in my save file. I mean, it doesn't directly impact me, but though I mean, it doesn't directly impact any of my missions or anything. Except Mercury during the like, Mercury when launching. Actually, this was before recently. At some point, game glitched out and deleted a bunch of debris in orbit. Because yeah, I used to have. Way more debris than that, because you know, a bunch of missions I did left uh, like a bunch, like a bunch of my mission designs intentionally left um, left uh, at least one stage in low carbon orbit. So yeah, there was just tons of debris, and roughly during launch, uh, there would be um, there would be a piece of debris, at least one piece of debris within 100 kilometers. Uh, of the launching spacecraft, so I mean, impact was in, was unlikely. I mean, not impossible. I have no idea why I'm talking about uh, Kessler syndrome in my save file. We're now re we're now re-entering, and the uh, return stage is immediately exploding. Now we're just slowing down. Anyways, I want to uh, 
Well, the video is almost over, so I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And goodbye.